So the normal can of green gas you get on the shelf is pretty much the standard stuff. It operates at about 115 PSI at room ambient temperature, which is a lot of big fancy words for, hey, if it's around 72 degrees Fahrenheit, it's gonna be about 115 PSI. And that's what a lot of these guns have been built around green gas pistols to operate with that pressure level gas. But since we're here in the States or worldwide, Europe, Asia, everywhere else, where you don't really have that, these guys have hit the market. So they do have three different levels here, green, red, black, and each one offers a step up in power. Now the green's gonna be a little bit more PSI. It's gonna be around 135 PSI versus your standard 115 PSI gas here in the United States, which means more umph. Red jumps, I think, into about the 160 range, and then the black gets up into low, low 200 PSI, which is big numbers, but, don't think that all three of these are just to turn your gun up. They actually have separate purposes. So before we get into the chrono test, you can see how they react on a normal day. I wanna tell you what they're all about. So the regular green gas cans, actually 10 and a half ounces in size, which is larger. It's actually almost near, not quite double the size of a US green gas can. So when you're looking at price, because these are a bit more expensive, you're gonna get near double the gas out of the can than you would over a standard one. Now it's time to talk about these three right over here. The green one is called New Pearl 2.0, red, is New Pearl 3.0 and black is New Pearl 4.0. And like I said, each one has its own purpose. The green is pretty obvious. It's to replace standard green gas. The red, they pitch it and sell it as a gas that is supposedly used for cold weather. And it does actually do that. I wrote an article for Airsoft Insider Magazine a couple of years ago using this in the wintertime. It was a snowy day. I put it in the snowbank. I really wish I could find like the photos. I had that whole folder wiped out, it's gone. But I actually had it in the snow outside. So it was a good 38 degree or 34 degree snowy cold day Fahrenheit in the United States, which is probably really close to one or two degrees centigrade if you guys are anywhere else aside from the States here. So I will say with that, I won't have a video to show you that. My personal experience is it did a very good job operating. And then the black is that power up gas. It is designed for a bit more punch. The difference here is the power. So we're gonna start with uh, standard green gas. I'm gonna show you guys my tests using this HK45 pistol. It's kind of one of my go-tos here uh, for a green gas pistol because this is pretty consistent shot to shot. In between each of these tests, I wanna keep in mind, I'm using three different magazines and I'm rotating those out. I'm emptying the gas out of each one each time and I'm letting the magazine get exactly back to room temp. Outside temperature on the day I did this test was around 60 degrees. Inside temperature was around 72. So we're gonna start with a standard can of green gas, like I said. And the first shot here on this, so I did a series of five shots on each one, started around 324 feet per second. After the fifth shot hit, we almost got down to that 300 mark. It was around 304, so you saw a pretty decent drop in power here, almost in the neighborhood of around 22 across five shots. Moving on to the new Pro Green, I saw 331, and I did expect to see a little higher number on the initial shot because the PSI of the gas is a bit higher. So we're gonna see that correlate. What was interesting to me, and this is really where I think new Pro Gas starts to set itself apart, is the drop. So we saw this one drop from 331 to 325 FPS across those five shots. That's six drop. That's not a big number, really, when you're looking at the grand scheme of things and definitely held on to that feet per second and that power from first to fifth shot a little bit better than standard green gas did. Now stepping up to red, I was kind of expecting bigger numbers here, but it did kind of come out with a little bit more, 340 at the start, 330 at the low end. So we did see a 10 delta from start to finish on the red gas, but it did actually give you a little more umph. So now we're moving up that scale from 326 with standard green, new pro green at 331 and red at 340. And then it's time for the big boy. It is time to bring out the black gas. Now, of course this one is designed for cold weather, but if you want that power, you want that kick, this is where you're gonna wanna step up to. 365 was the starting and 358 is the lowest. So it also held on to that number really well. So that's it. With this is my test bed. And again, your mileage will vary. Every gun has its own starting feet per second. So don't go, well, Jonathan, man, you promised me 350 something or 360 feet per second on that. Again, like I said, every pistol. Some, you may actually get higher numbers. Some, you might get lower. Also something to keep in mind, because the black on this one jumped the pistol up 25. And again, I've actually had a KWA LM4. I've done some tests with this prior. I saw a larger jump from start to finish. Be mindful that using black gas could take your gun over your field limit. 
units. In this case, 360, which would be way above that 350 number for some indoor fields. So kind of keep that in mind if you guys are gonna be moving that, kind of use the gas appropriately and chrono with the gas you're gonna be using on the field. So guys, bottom line, uh, very impressed with the new Pro Gas. Uh, again, not incredibly surprising for me because I did a review article like this said in print two years ago. Uh, I've never done a video article and I kind of wanted to share my findings with you on this. I'm a big fan of it. I think it's very neat. It obviously is a higher price point because you're gonna be paying for that bigger tank of gas. But on the flip side, you're actually getting a lot more out of it and more power and consistency through shots. So if you guys have been looking for something to mix up your game, get that and oh yeah, don't forget, a lot crisper blowback. It does add some punch, but be mindful when you jump to the black, you might be wearing your gun out a little sooner than later. Definitely take a look at New Pro Gas. And of course you can pick it up now that G&G is the distributor here in North America at pretty much any Airsoft shop you can imagine. So before we go, real quick, got a question for you guys. First off, what else do you want me to see me review? I know I've been mixing up with some gas and some other things. Is there something else, a product, a gun, you wanna see me talk about here? Second, what do you think of New Pro? You guys, have you ever run it? Have you ever gone against it? Do you think because of the black gas, it might be too hard to use at some fields because the limit change, people can kind of get sneaky with it? Or do you think it's a good solution for cold weather? I wanna hear about that in the description or in the comment section below. Also, if you haven't done already, love to have you subscribe. Hit that subscribe button and join the conversation down below.